Um, hi everyone. So this summer I've been researching telehealth and how it can be used to help address behavioral health conditions. Um, so my presentation is a little bit about that. Mental health is a problem facing us today that demands our attention. According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, one in five U.S. adults experience mental illness. 17% of all young people experience a mental health disorder. Statistics like that are numerous and many are getting worse. The pandemic has done nothing but worsen those numbers. However, even the worst situations have silver linings and the pandemic has shown us that telehealth could be part of the answer to addressing mental health. Social distancing forced us to find new ways to care for patients and the healthcare system rose to the challenge. Medicaid and other organizations changed their reimbursement policies to allow telemedicine to expand nationwide. Research has shown that telemedicine can be an effective way to treat mental illnesses, including things like depression, anxiety, intellectual and developmental disabilities, substance abuse disorder, and more. Telemedicine has been championed by its advocates as a way to reach those in communities that are often overlooked and under-resourced because of its convenience and possibilities for cost reduction. However, one big problem stands in the way, a concept known as the digital divide. This concept describes the gap in access to technology that underserved communities face. It's an especially big problem for rural communities where internet access can be sparse and unreliable and mental health issues are highly prevalent. Even with access to technology like a computer, research shows that 52 million Americans don't know how to use it properly. Digital access and digital literacy have become social determinants of health. And to expand telemedicine, we have to tackle it head on. Otherwise, telemedicine will simply increase and exacerbate existing disparities. This is a topic I've been researching for a couple months now. And what's clear to me is this, while telemedicine can help increase access, what prevents people from getting healthcare is still largely structural and institutional. Mental illness is no exception to that rule. There are countless articles showing that structural and institutional obstacles in life worsen mental health. Worrying about things like whether or not you can eat or whether or not you'll have a job next week simply exacerbate illnesses like anxiety and depression. Not only would this person have worse mental health, but the same structural barriers that make it harder for them to kind of go about on a day-to-day -day basis with their mental illness actually also make it harder for them to find the help they need. Without addressing those first, our mental health problems will persist no matter what mode of care delivery we use.